Going to show a water knot with two overhand safeties. First thing I'm going to do is tie an overhand knot there. And this knot's what we use to tie webbing together. You can see as I tie that overhand knot, I'm leaving myself a little bit of tail there to tie my safeties later on. And you can see that this knot is nice and flat. The webbing is, is nice and flat. I don't have it twist, any twists in it. Once I have that done, take the other side of the webbing, and I'm just going to retrace this knot. So run it through there. And then you want to you want to pull out enough here to get the, the the knot tied and still get your safeties tied. As you can see, we're just kind of following that around. Keeps following it around. And then we get here, take that, and finally it goes back through that little section there. So it's a happy medium of tying this knot too tight or having it really loose and floppy. So once I get it here, and you can see it's nice and flat, nice and lined up, now I can go ahead and tighten these up. I like to pull on each individual st strand just to get it nice and tight. And then from there, take those tails, and you'll tie your overhand safeties. I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the overhands and the water knot so you can see the three distinct knots. So you can see here my two overhand safeties and then the middle is the water knot. You can see it's nice and flat, don't have a bunch of twists in it, and it's fairly lined up.